Hey guys, I'm Lynn Hansen. I'm one of the pastors here at North Park Church and really glad to be sharing with you in life groups this week. We're in a really cool series called Unconditional and we're going to hang in there with this series for about three weeks more. But this last weekend, uh, you know, we were talking about uh, four false beliefs and we began talking about four false beliefs that can really uh, control your life and really mess up your life. And, uh, you know, God says my grace is all you need. And so we have these kinds of false beliefs that we live by. We might not even notice that they're there. But uh, God's grace, as we integrate God's grace into our lives, really takes care of those needs and those false beliefs that we, uh, that, 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 that we have that the needs stem out of. So uh, we need to take a look at how to integrate God's grace into these four false beliefs. This one that we're talking about this last weekend and, and through our life groups this week is the false belief that I must meet certain standards in order to feel good about myself. I must meet certain standards in order to feel good about myself. Now the story that we're going to, uh, I'm going to read to you in a moment, uh, really speaks to uh, that false belief and then victory over it, integrating God's grace into it, I believe. And so uh, I'm going to tell you this story from Acts chapter 16 and starting at verse 22. And as I do this, uh, make sure you pay close attention because what's going to happen here is uh, somebody in your group is going to retell the story from memory as best they can uh, after I finish, and then everybody else add in what it is that they might have missed, okay? So listen close, everybody. Here we go. A mob quickly formed against Paul and Silas, and the city officials ordered them stripped and beaten with wooden rods. They were severely beaten, and then they were thrown into prison. The jailer was ordered to make sure they didn't escape, so the jailer put them in the inner dungeon and clamped their feet in stocks. Around midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the other prisoners were listening. Suddenly, there was a massive earthquake, and the prison was shaken to its foundations. All the doors immediately flew open, and the chains of every prisoner fell off. The jailer woke up to see the prison doors wide open. He assumed the prisoners had escaped, so he drew his sword to kill himself. But Paul shouted to him, Stop! Don't kill yourself! We are all here. The jailer called for lights and ran into the dungeon and fell down trembling before Paul and Silas. Then he brought them out and asked, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? They replied, Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, along with everyone in your household. And they shared the word of the Lord with him and all who lived in his household. Even at that hour of the night, the jailer cared for them and washed their wounds. Then he and everyone in his household were immediately baptized. He brought them into his house and set a meal before them. And he and his entire household rejoiced because they all believed in God. All right, great story. Now somebody in your group, uh, retell that story as best you can. Everybody else, when they're finished, add in what it is they might have missed and just enjoy getting this story into your heart. Would you please? Well, now we have some discussion questions. Um, here we go. Let's just dive right into them. Question number one. Do you have certain standards that you must meet before you feel good about yourself? Uh, pray about that a minute before you answer, you know, success equals fulfillment. Do you have certain standards that you must meet before you can feel good about yourself? Share some examples of those standards with your group, would you please? Awesome, great. Well, question number two, what character or characters in our story seem to have the false belief that you must meet certain standards before you can feel good about yourself? Can you find people like that there? And uh, explain your position, explain why you think that person has that issue. Go ahead, please. All right, question number three, now we're going to have some fun. Did anyone in our story get some victory over the false belief that you must meet certain standards before you can feel good about yourself? Did they get some victory? Anybody you can find there, and how did they get that victory? Talk about that, would you please? All right, 
question number four, pray about this a moment, let the Holy Spirit really speak to you because that's what this is all about, is learning to let the Holy Spirit teach you as you get into God's Word. Question four, what would it take for you to have a similar victory? Okay, you look back at question three. Now question four, what would it take for you to have a similar victory? Go ahead and talk about that. Remember to pray first. Well, guys, remember that silence in a life group is not a bad thing as we pray and as we're seeking God. You know, sometimes it's quiet and sometimes it's awkward and that kind of thing. And that's the time when the Holy Spirit really will begin to work in your life. Question number five, guys. Question number five. What, has, uh, what, what is it that God wants you to take away from your life group this week? Important question. What is it that God wants you to take away from your life group this week? Okay? Guys, it's so important, so important. Because of what Christ has done for you, you are deeply loved, completely forgiven, totally acceptable, and a complete person in Jesus Christ. God bless you. I'll see you soon.